Global baker Dean Brettschneider, the renowned baker and patissier, has been working with leading bakery product supplier Lampman and Unibake UK on a number of product innovations in the last year. Dean has extensive technical experience gained in both commercial and retail bakery in New Zealand, Australia, Asia and the Far East. His innovative and creative approach, combined with an understanding of the commercial pressures on today's busy bakers, means that he really understands how to develop great ideas into products that sell. Dean is passionate about baking, and working with Lantman and Unibake UK, he can bring his exciting ideas to life for bakers to use in their own businesses. What would Christmas be without a trifle? My modern version of this traditional favourite features cranberry jelly, cherries, custard and cream, so there's plenty of sharpness combined with a creamy sweetness. The recipe that I'm going to demonstrate features a number of steps, but I'm sure your customers will love this contemporary Christmas dessert. It makes four servings. Make your basic plain sponge and cut into small one centimetre cubes, making sure that it's not too crumbly. To make the cranberry jelly, Soften the gelatine sheets in cold water first. In a small saucepan, bring the cranberry juice and a little bit of sugar to the boil. Remove from the heat and add the squeezed gelatine and stir to dissolve. Set aside to cool and pour into a jug and used whilst still liquid consistency. In a saucepan, bring the milk, the single cream, the vanilla pod and seeds to a simmer over a low heat. Remove the vanilla pod and in a separate bowl, whisk the eggs, the sugar, the cornflour together until well blended. Pour the hot milk and cream onto the eggs and sugar and whisk continuously. Return the saucepan and stir gently on a low heat with a wooden spatula until thickened. Pour the custard into a jug and cover with plastic wrap. So now it's time to construct my trifles. I've got my jelly, I've got my cherry filling, my cream, my custard, and finally, I've got the little sponge cubes that sit in the bottom. Using a glass that holds approximately 250 mils of water, safely lean the glasses on an angle and place about four or five little sponge cubes in the bottom corner. Then pour over the cooled liquid jelly so that it's on an angle. Chill in the refrigerator until the jelly is set. Remove the set jelly glasses from the refrigerator and stand upright. Then pour some custard in. Now spoon some cherry filling in and finally fill it with some whipped Chantilly cream, leveling it off at the top, then decorate it as you need. So here we have it, we've got this classic trifle, but you know, I've played with the layers, so I've got the, the jelly layer, I've got the, the, the custard, and I've got some cherry, and, and just a fantastic, nice, clean finish on top. And I've even added a nice gingerbread spoon so that I can push it down there and just bring some up and just Wow, that's fantastic. Crunchy, spicy, with a whole lot of textures. Perfect.